Welcome to the world of Joan, and today you are cooking off the land with Joan. What kind of cooking off the land? Because all this stuff originated in the land, and it's cooking on a budget. You know, I had a couple cans. I had a couple cans of can evaporated milk that expired, so I decided to make substitute sour cream for one of my cooking. Now it's kind of caramelized because what I've done is I put it in the microwave and let it heat up for a couple minutes. You don't have to do that. You can let it set for five to ten minutes and just kind of stir it up. And I use it for cooking. It has you take a cup of this and then you take and scoop out about three teaspoons of it and add three teaspoons of lemon juice in it. And how awesome is that? Compared to you go to the store and buy all that already, then you got this all ready to go. And it has a sour cream taste to it. Now, what I'm doing is I'm cooking me something to eat. I'm, I'm being semi-bad and semi-good. What I have in here is I have diced up potatoes and Spam and some grease. What I'm going to do is, remember that red wine vinegar I got? We are going to pour that in there. We're going to let that sit there and steam for a few minutes and let it cook a little bit. And the reason for this, since I live by myself and by my lonesome, this here is the pre-mix. If I was cooking a large meal for a bunch of people, I would buy a bunch of fresh ingredients. Unfortunately, like I said, Boo ran over most of my plants, so I don't have them. So, we are going to do this instead. Now, the thing about Spam that a lot of you may not know, is that during World War II, when meat was being rationed and everything, the people who lived through it know. Andrew Zinnemann does, you know, the bizarre foods, and he talks about how over in Hawaii, that became their favorite food because during the 40s and stuff, during the time of rationing, they had to turn around and eat Spam as a meat substitute. Now, I was raised up on it. My grandmother cooked it, my mama cooked it, and I cooked it. And I can sit down and eat a whole can by itself. So, yes, this disgusting taste of stuff has all these recipes. But I want to tell you what, if you're a prepper or even if you're not a prepper, have these on hand. If you worry about tornadoes or weather or whatever, and you want to make sure you got a three-day food supply, put something, keep a few of these on hand and learn how to cook with these. Learn how to try different recipes. You know, don't tell your family you're feeding them spam. They don't need to know because I used to fry it up just make a sandwich with it. So now, my potatoes, my spam on a budget. I put a little vinegar in it to kind of give it a steam cook and give it a nice little flavor. We're going to pour my sour cream substitute in there. So don't throw away your evaporated milk the next time it has a spire date on it. Make some sour cream. It's that simple and that easy. So when I open up my little salad mix and I get ready to make my salad, I'm going to scoop some of that yummy, yummy stuff up on it. And I'm going to put it over here on this. So, remember the my yummy thing. And you got to try these foods. You got to try the stuff off the land. And you got to try the different recipes. Cost of living goes up every day. But our pocketbooks isn't. So don't turn your nose up at it till you try it. Try the substitute sour cream. It will save you money. You don't have to wait till a can of evaporated milk expired like I did. Because it was just on hand and I forgot about it. And said, you know what, it's a good time to make sour cream. Just get your can of sour cream. I bought me two new cans. And it cost me like a dollar nine a piece. Okay, so I poured it in my cup. Three teaspoons of lemon juice. You know, took three teaspoons out. Put three teaspoons in there. Stirred it up, you've got that, let it set for five or ten minutes or give or take, and you've got this nice sour cream substitute flavor you can use in your all rotten potatoes and your different cookies. If you make a sour cream bread or whatever, you are saving money. Now, you might be able to get that pelt, 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 blue, blue, blue. see there, there's my blooper right there. You might be able to get your evaporated milk anywhere. And you can try different things. If you live on a farm and you do do your own fresh milk. Try the cream. If you try the 100% milk, try the butter milk. Try different things and, and see how it works out on that sour cream substitute. 
Wow, this just looks so good. And it's all cooking in its natural juices. I'm going to tell you what, look at this. This here looks good. I'm going to tell you what. I'm looking forward to when this gets done. Because I am going to put it on top of my salad. This way, I'm semi-bad. And I'm feeding this big butt of mine. But I'm being semi-good too. Because I'm getting calcium in my system. I am getting some starches that I probably shouldn't need. But I am cooking the spam in with all this. And it's going to be just nice and wonderful. And then I'm going to take it. I'm going to put it on top of my salad ingredients. It's going to all flavor it together. Everybody that I take of this fresh vegetables and stuff I have, it's going to be cooked. It's going to be in with that. I want to take some of the juice from this here, and I want to pour it on top of my uh, salad thing, my solution. So, yeah, I know it might sound gross to you. I want to tell you what, you don't have to put it on top of the salad. You can eat the salad to the side and the vegetables and stuff on top of it. But you know what? I'm cheating a little bit. If I put it on top of my salad, I'm going to eat it all that way. So, I can't wait to try and do my yum yum dance, my yum yum dance. Remember, on a budget, whether you're living off the grid, living partly off the grid, poor as all get out as I am, because I'm poorer than a church mouse than a church trying to get a breadcrumb, make your own sour cream substitute. You don't have to go to the store and buy sour cream. Keep your couple cans of evaporated milk on. If it starts to expire, make you up some sour cream substitute. Make you some sour cream all rotten potatoes or whatever you want to make with it. Be creative. And don't be afraid to try different recipes. Because you never know if you're going to have the money to go to the store or not. Because I went through times I didn't know if I was going to have food to eat. My kids, bless their heart, was raised up on goulash. Goulash. They never didn't know what I was going to have to fix because whatever was in the refrigerator, I fixed. Whatever left over, I fixed it. And sometimes it didn't taste good. I even tried the liver goulash and it didn't work out. Tried the hot dog goulash. Didn't work out. I'm going to tell you what. I tried it and I ate it because I was hungry. So, don't be afraid to try something different. Don't be afraid to try that canned meat that you can't stand. When you think about how much your budget's going to be and how much money you're going to save, don't be afraid to make that sour cream substitute. No, 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 no. So, from the world of Joan, who's creative and cooking off the land and on the budget and broke. Be safe. Be happy. Bless you all.